Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear and today we're just going to do a uh, little video and I'm going to teach you how to do a current sense resistor mod. So a lot of people ask me how do you get so much current out of your drivers because these basic standard convoy drivers they're only good for about 5 amps. So there's a few ways to do it and this actually also leads in to another video that I'm currently making. Why is this thing tracking? So I'm currently making a video where we test if you should even do this mod in the first place. So that's why I have to do this anyway. Generally speaking, I tend to bridge over the sense resistor just with a bit of solder here. So I can show you that in another light that I have. So this here is a previous green convoy driver that I have modded where I bridged the sense resistor. You can see the piece of solder goes from one side of the resistor to the other. So that basically that takes out that R020 sense resistor there. So there is no sense resistor um, in the way to stop the maximum um, uh, amount of current. So that does give you the most amount of current that you can get out of these drivers. But there can be a problem with this uh, method. So I have been testing it. If you want to see the results of that, the video will be up pretty soon. But it can play with the mode spacing. So there's a few different convoy drivers. There's these green ones. These are the four mode drivers. I know it's probably a little bit hard to see, guys, but it is kind of pretty hard to get on camera. And there's also the red drivers, which have got like a lot more modes. These have got like the million mode drivers. Hmm, that one looks actually a lot better on camera. At that distance so they both use a r020 resistor which is i think uh 20 milliohms or 20 yeah 20 milliohms i'm pretty sure it's about that um so you won't find those kind of resistors in a normal pack but what we're going to do is we're going to stack so we've tried in that other video we tried by just bridging the uh sense resistor to see if it plays with the mode spacing. So now we're going to put another R020 sense resistor on top of this one that's already there and see how the driver be, uh, behaves then. This is really not focusing. It doesn't like this. Too many things on the screen, maybe? Why the red one it focuses, but this one it won't? It's like tracking. Can I track this? Oh, it's tracking it now. Look, I can move it and I'll stay in focus. Bastard. So yeah, so that R020 there is the one that we're going to put another R020 on top. And it should um, double the amount of current that it allows. So from 5 to 10 amps. So first thing first, we'll talk about uh, this mod. So the size resistor you're going to need is a 1206 for the 17 mil drivers. Um, for the 20mm drivers, you do need a much bigger re resistor. Um, I'm not sure of that size, actually, because I don't have any that go up that high. All I've got is this pack of uh, 1206s here, and you can see they're pretty much the same size as the uh, 1206 resistor there. Um, don't mind the driver. I accidentally spilled a bit of flux on it while I was scavenging off the other driver, the uh, resistor on the other driver. So we might as well get started and um, put the new... R020 uh, sense resistor in place. So I um, don't want to get into like technical details, but it does kind of matter. Um, if you stack a resistor in parallel with another one, you half the resistance. If you were to say, put that new R020 resistor behind this re re resistor and it was in series, you would double the resistance. So we are halving the resistance of the of the sense resistor by stacking another one on top you could easily just undo this one considering i've already got flux here now you can't just undo it unsolder it and then resolder another value on top which you'd have to work out yourself and that would give you like a custom uh, amount of current obviously these mosfets and the rest of the driver do have a maximum amount of current that they can handle safely before they burn out um so far like Pretty much, it's been okay for me, um, just just bridging it. You know, I've seen these drivers do about 15 amps, and they're still fine. So they can handle quite a bit of current, but keep in mind, there is a maximum what they can handle. So 
if you're an amateur or not even an, an amateur, I would suggest using solder paste uh, to do this job. It is a little bit easier than using normal solder and soldering and, and soldering the part on by hand. So a little bit's come out there. We can grab the resistor from up here. And these things are very, very tiny. So you can see how small that they are even though this is the bigger size, so just be careful with them. I'm doing it this way. You can do it whichever way you feel works best for you. You don't need too much on there. Doesn't look like I'm getting any on there anyway. And you simply place the resistor on top and then you solder it down. All right guys, I've got a headlamp on, so don't mind the extra bit of light there. Hopefully it lets you see it a little bit better. So as you can see, the resistor is in place and basically you just got to solder it down now using either paste or whichever method that you would like to use. You got to solder both edges on because you need it to be in contact with the bottom it is going to be pretty hard to see but like you're not going to be doing it on camera so off camera you can have a look at well it's probably easier to not solder it on top but you know you get the idea um, it is easier to just solder like this one and not the one on top because it is harder to drag the solder up but you got to do what you got to do and um, that's pretty much it that's how you put a sense resistor on one of these convoy drivers.